Hey everybody, Jake, your resident cont- Whoa, I'm like knocking over my thing here. Hey everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yee-ha! And I saw an interesting video earlier. Uh, I was linked to it on Twitter by Run Danny Boy. Run Danny Boy wanted me to take a look at this uh, new video from Phil. I'm going to link it here in the chat. I'll actually show some of it where he talks about weakness policy and how weakness policy is actually better than you think. And he does mention the video that we made. Uh, before we get into it, I'm not here to say anything bad about uh, this dude's video or him at all. He's a great player, much better player than I am. And he plays Pokemon like Garchomp and stuff to perfection. So you should definitely check him out. He's got some amazing gameplay and I'm sure he's a really sharp mind when it comes to this stuff. I want to just break down a couple of the things that he brings up in this video really quickly because it's not exactly a response to my video and this is I guess this is more of a response to his but he's talking about weakness policy and how it's better than you think and I actually think what he shows is still making the point that I made earlier that it's not very ideal let me take you over to it look at that he got me right there he caught me in 4k with my hand up what a dummy I am is as bad as most people think it is. I feel like in this video, he's comparing it to something like Floatstone, which is truly bad and should... I actually don't compare it to Floatstone. I just make a comparison to Peak's video, Floatstone Bad, but I don't compare it to Floatstone. Floatstone is much worse. Never be taken. So I'm going to quickly highlight the upside of weakness policy and why I think it could be decent here. So here's a look at Garchomp's stats. We're going to run all the numbers at level 15 just for, you know... Um, continuity sake, it's pretty simple. So low. This is actually something that I think is really important. When you're looking at an item like weakness policy and we're looking at the numbers at level 15 uh, on Pokemon, when their attack stat is at their highest, we feel like, oh, this is actually a lot stronger than we thought. But you have to recognize that an item that increases your attack by a percentage is at its best, of course, when you are at your highest attack stat. So at level 15, it would seem to provide the biggest bonus, but that's a very short portion of the game. Level 15, Garchomp gets 496 attack, and he has pretty decent AD ratio. Since today's video, we're playing ground Garchomp. I will be using the ratios for ground, and then that's ground with Earthquake, and then his Unite is also attack ratios. As you can see, Garchomp has a lot of attack damage ratios, and this is why I think weakness policy is not as bad as people think it is. I'll say this is a, especially if you're really good, this is a good use case for weakness policy. This is also from an, again, an amazing player. So this guy is really, really great and he's using uh, weakness policy. But he does say something a little later in the video that I think just, fall, just uh, kind of, uh, I was going to say illuminates my point a little bit more, but what, what do I know? That's not the right First way to say off, this. First off, I want to compare weakness policy to an item like uh, attack weight. Mm -hmm. Now, attack weight gives you at max 90 attack damage, and that is it. You don't get anything else. All you get is 90 attack damage, and this item is somewhat random. So he's right. Uh, you only get 90 attack damage. However, you always get it. It doesn't go away like it does with weakness policy. However, you do have to score goals, so you have to be set up for scoring. There's definitely a trade-off here. I could see someone saying, well, I don't want to run attack weight. I don't want to score that much. I'd rather run weakness policy. That can make sense. All right. So Not that I'd do it's, it. It's important to note that this item that only gives 90 attack damage is somewhat ran. It's ran on Lucario, and sometimes... Uh, I also run it on Lucario. I think it's great for Lucario, specifically because he scores so much early game. This is fun. This is actually fun to do. People that want to go full damage, niche, uh, run it on, so maybe a champ, but it is ran, okay? Mm -hmm. And all this gives you is 90 attack damage. Now let's take a look at uh, weakness policy. Weakness policy gives you 15 attack, right? So it has three less base attack damage than, uh, what do you call it? Uh, attack weight. And it gives you 210 health. And health is one of the best stats in the game. Because He's so right about this, which is actually mainly the point I was making in my other video. Uh, this gives you health, the other item doesn't. This is really nice because of that. All the best items scale with health. Buddy Barrier, one of the best items scale with health. Yep. Focus Band, one of the best items scale with health, because the more, the bigger your health pool, the more you heal when you're low, right? And Score Shield also scales off your health, giving you more health for a bigger shield. So it comes with a little bit less attack, 
but its base stats are for sure better. The fact that it comes with 210 health. And then on top of that, if you stack it up four times, it gives you a 12% damage boost onto your base attack. So when we look at a Pokemon... So yeah, everything he's saying here is exactly right. The health is amazing. Sca items that scale with health are extremely important. Basically what I was saying in my other video is being alive longer to do more damage is more important than doing small uh, increases in damage. And I think he's totally right here that having that health is very valuable. In fact, he lists three items that I'd probably run over, <laughs> you know... Uh, this item, he says, Body Barrier, Focus Band, Score Shield. Yeah, I'd probably, probably run that on, in most cases, over a weakness policy. Probably. Or there are other items, of course, like a Muscle Band or Scope Lens, depending on the Pokemon. Come on, like, uh, let's use a Speedster. All the Speedster have really crazy attack, right? So let's say Abzu, mm -hmm. right? Abzu has 620 attack at level 15. So if we just do some math on that, I'm going to pull up just one of my calculators here, right? Uh, I have a bunch of calculators to show you guys a bunch of stuff in a sec, right? By the way, you do need to check out this video because he does some great math on it. At one point, he pulls out 10 calculators. It's great. Let's pull up one of my calculators here. And 620 attack mm -hmm. times 1.12, which is 12%. And then this item gives you 74 attack damage, not including the 15 it gives you. So 74 plus 15, it ends up giving you 89 attack. So it gives you 89 attack, which is one less attack than attack weight. And you don't have to score, and it comes with health. Granted, This is all true. All, all good points. I'll, I'll, however, I will say one thing that we keep running into with this is you're looking at a level 15 Pokemon right here. Let me see if I can pull this up in a way that makes sense. Let's say we're not looking at a level 15 Pokemon. Uh, for any of this and you wanted to run uh, I wouldn't necessarily compare it directly to attack weight But let's say you did want to compare it to attack weight and you wanted to do a Pokemon You we're just looking at Absol right here, right? Let's say you were a level 11 Absol. Well, it doesn't give you that much attack then does it? It only gives you I don't know what 12% of 425 is but I, I don't know 444 only gives you 44 or something like that. Let me see. Oh, I got a calculator here now, too. Yeah, it gives you an additional 51, excuse me, 51 attack damage. So that's if you're at level 11. And as you can see, yes, it's better at level 15, but how much of the match do you spend at level 15? Very little. Very little of the game are you spending your time at level 15. Let me take you back to the video here. Unlike attack weight, the attack is not always on. You know, you have to have the item fully stacked, getting hit four times or whatever to have it on. But... You know, I'm not trying to argue this item being better than attack weight. I'm not trying to argue this item being the best item in the game. But I'm just saying the fact that it can give you one less attack than a fully stacked attack weight and health. And you don't have to score. So it could be useful in Pokemon that have trouble scoring. Because there's a lot of games, if you're losing, late game, you could maybe hit level 13, 14. But you don't get any stacks on your attack weight. Or maybe you get one or two stacks. You know, whereas attack weight, where I see it as more of a win more item... And usually when you run attack weight, you have to commit a score shield to make sure that you can score if it too. So the fact that this item can give you one less attack than attack weight, uh, and you don't have to do anything other than have levels and be in combat, which is, in my opinion, something easier to achieve while you are uh, behind. I'm not going to argue it's better than attack weight, but I'm just saying it's not useless. I truly do not think it's useless. I think everything he's saying here is totally right. In fact, I don't think it's a useless item. It 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 isn't in the realm of uh, you know leftovers or Rocky Helmet or something like that. It definitely isn't. Everything he's saying is right. Again, this guy is he's really sharp and also great at the game. Yeah. Uh, so now let's take a look at a full damage breakdown of. And oh, and I also will agree. Uh, attack weight. I only run it on Pokemon that I'm amazing at scoring with which would probably just be Lucario. Oh, I also run it on Talonflame. So if I jungle Talonflame, I'll run Talonflame, jungle, score shield, attack weight. And yeah, I always get my stacks that way and I always get them with Lucario. Lucario, you could be up against some of the greatest players in the game. It's just impossible to stop him from scoring. Uh, it on Garchomp. So since we're doing a video on Garchomp, we're doing it on Garchomp, right? Garchomp, low 15. 
Now here is where all my calculators are gonna come out, right? So you see all these ratios here, right? I'm about to do the math for a full combo without weakness policy and a full combo with weakness policy. And the full combo is gonna be one auto attack, one dig, uh, earthquake landing, both uh, earthquake landing uh, thing, all the damage, right? And then you land all your hits of Unite. Honestly, chances are you're not gonna, you know, do all this. You're not gonna land your dig into all your earthquakes into all your unites but this is just to show you that there are scenarios where it could be really useful right it's interesting because um yeah he's i think he's gonna show uh a lot of damage coming out here for a guard chomp in this situation which again yeah if you land all that stuff you are gonna get a ton of damage out of this particular item for sure so this, i'm gonna go ahead and move this off to the oh, side I love down this. here yeah here, here are all the calculators. We have 10 calculators on the screen now okay I, I didn't want to start off with this because i know it'll scare you guys okay all right here's all the math i was gonna have to go ahead and do it in i don't want to i don't want to just play his video because it, again i think you should check it out it's a great video um but yeah as you can see all of these if you're hitting with all of these moves you're getting big chunks of extra damage and i think that's great um it's 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 nice again I would probably just say run a buddy barrier in this situation. If you don't have one already, run a buddy barrier, and that way you can live long enough to hit even more attacks after you're using your Unite move in this situation. Because these little bits of damage, they're not little. They're, they're great. These extra bits of damage are great. But we're talking about a level 15. You at your max level. You have all your stacks, and you're hitting with all your moves. We're saying in that scenario... It's really, really great. And again, he's not saying it's the best item. He's not making a case that it's better than running on a focus band or something like that, which is actually the case I'm mainly making in my video. Run a focus band, run a buddy barrier. They're more useful items than these. I'll skip a little ahead here just so he can uh, say something that I think is important. I do not think the item is useless. Do I think it's as good as focus band and buddy barrier? No, but it is for sure not useless in my opinion. That, and that's mainly what I was saying in my video, is it's not even close to as good as Focus Band or Buddy Barrier. Right here is one of the biggest points we agree on in the video. So that's why I'm thinking this item maybe has some merit when you couple it with Focus Band and Buddy Barrier, and you run as well. So you have a lot of base health, which makes your Buddy Barrier and Focus Band really good. And you still do about a thousand extra damage, so you have a little bit of extra burst potential in the late game here. Just food for thought, guys, all right? Just want to throw the numbers out there for you guys. I so that's the biggest thing we agree on, and it's one of the biggest points of my entire video is if you're replacing a focus band or buddy barrier for weakness policy, I don't think you're getting the value out of it you want. However, if you're running focus band and buddy barrier and you want to run weakness policy, it might be a good option. I still feel like a muscle band, score shield, scope lens are probably better options depending on the situation, but it might, might take over that third slot. I still think there are better choices, but yeah, Phil and I pretty much agree on this. Yeah, the stacks definitely need to last longer. The stacks for sure need to last longer. But they slowly run out, like eight seconds long. That would be good. That would be good. I'm not saying it's better than muscle, but it's for sure not useless. And there is like the biggest point of my whole thing is uh, I don't think it's completely useless either. Um, it's just there are other items you would rather run instead of it. So again, I'm going to link to his video in the description of this. Uh, I hope he doesn't mind me kind of like going through his points a little bit here. Again, I don't think anything he's saying is wrong. I just think he's saying that weakness policy isn't so bad. And it's not. It's not the worst item in the game. All I'm saying is there are multiple items I would rather run on a Pokemon than weakness policy. And also when you watch him play with it, yeah, he's he's awesome. <laughs> he's so good at this game. So it's kind of hard to go, well, I, you know, uh, I actually run Shell Bell and do really well. And I'm watching one of the best players in the world run Shell Bell. Yeah, it's gonna go pretty well if, if, uh, if that's what you're doing. So I just saw this video, someone tweeted it at me and I wanted to see kind of what points he made. Everything he's saying is correct. The only thing that I think I still get hung up on is um, 
they're just some they're just other items I think you'd rather run. However, if you're having a good time with weakness policy and you feel like you're getting a lot of value out of it, by all means run weakness policy. As he says in this video though, I still think you'd run a muscle band instead. You might run a scope lens depending on the person, uh, attack weight on Lucario or something like that. So I just think there are other items that you'd run instead of weakness policy. And that's why I made my video, weakness policy bad. I just think until it gets a little something or in, unless it's on the exact perfect scenario, I just think it's not the most ideal item. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you for watching and listening. Again, check his video out. He's great. I love you all, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Mwah!